It's landing again. It's uh, Sunday, right after the Wild Game Supper here at John 316, and, and um, this is our second year to have it, and this year we have it two nights, and, and um, I guess it was about six years ago I was here, and, and I heard we were going to a Wild Game Supper down in this, uh, what was it, Eudora? Eudora. Eudora, Arkansas. I was like, where in the world is Eudora, Arkansas? <laughs> I'm from Jonesboro, and never been down south much, and so we go down there, and I get to meet all these guys, and we get to help them with their Wild Game Supper. And all their all their funds go to the children's hospital, and uh, I think we brought maybe ten or fifteen guys down, I think, and and uh, helped out a lot. It was an old dirty shop. I remember we pulled in. There was dirt. There was tractors and dirt pans in this shop. We pulled in. I was like, now we got to get this cleaned up, and we're going to have a supper. I was like, wow, really? <laughs> so we got that cleaned up, and we did that for a couple years. And now you got this new beautiful building, and and um, just great. So many people show up. You have this auction, and. And it's all part of the Delta Men's Association. And, and we got David Dodson here with us. We got Danny Parker, Ben Edestead, did I say that right? And uh, Ned Scribner. And uh, so just tell us a little bit about the Delta Men's Association, how it got started, and how long y'all been involved. Well, when it first started, it wasn't Delta Men's. It was just a bunch of guys that got together that had a, a boat turned over, and two of the guys that was in there, four of them, the boat turned over, and two of them almost drowned, but two of them got out. And they went back to the house and got help and went back and found the other two and they took them back to the shop where they were at and they got together and got them cleaned up and warm and took them home and every year after that they started started that's how it started they started to come to the shop and they would cook and have a good time and that's mm -hmm. how it started and how long have you been involved in it 34 years 34 how'd that start uh, I started, I worked for UPS down in South Arkansas, so I met everybody. I knew they I would deliver to them and everybody, and they knew I, I cooked quite a bit, and so they asked me if I'd be interested in coming, and I, of course I didn't have a clue what it was about or anything, and I started, and I got involved, and I never, I never looked back. Danny, how long you been going on? Yeah, I, uh, I've been, I think it's about the fourth or fifth year, and uh, uh, I've since I've been involved with Delta Men's Association, uh, John 316 has always been there to help and as a matter of fact John 316 and their help with our uh, supper was kind of a, a, the reason why I wanted to get involved because it it, it, it just started working really, really really well it was two ministries that I wanted to be part of which was helping to uh, support Children's Hospital and then also the the uh, uh, John 316 ministry so uh, I was uh, I saw that and that's what kind of intrigued me to get involved in it and I'm, I'm so glad that I did uh, it's been a it's been a blessing from from the first day and uh, I just want to say to the John 316 ministry uh, we've always been a good bunch of guys here and stuff like that but y'all are raising us up to the next level we come to this place and we are blessed and we are encouraged and and our bar is set a little bit higher because of because of John 3:16, and we're just pleased to be a part of it, and uh, just looking forward to more and more years. Cool. And we got Ben here. You know, you know, you're 19, right? No, I'm 20. 20. 20. 20. I thought I heard you say you're 19, but that's a young man. Got some older guys here with you. <coughs> but uh, how did you get involved? I mean, at 20 years old, at such a, a young age to get involved in such a great organization. Right. Well, I started working with Dale over at M and I Electric, which is across the street from the Delta Men's Building, mm -hmm. and I uh, started working there about three or four months ago. And then um, they, I went to the Wild Game Supper that they had last year, and I, I really enjoyed it. And I had just moved up from Mobile, Alabama, to Ollie Village, Arkansas, and got plugged in, and I enjoyed it. And then the next thing I know, I'm working for the guys that are part of it. And then I was like, Well, I want to, I want to be part of this too, you know. And so I joined in and uh, they start going to their meetings and such and help out with the Wild Game Supper. And of course, you know, they rag on me and mess with me all the time because I'm the new guy. And I love it. I love it. Yeah. But um, enjoy those days. Yeah, absolutely. Being a young guy that's able to draw from their influence and learn from them is an incredible blessing. And uh, I'm just so glad to be a part of it. So. And Ned, you know, I've been coming down for the last six years and you've always been there. You're kind of the, the lead dog down there when it comes to getting things done, putting the tables up, oh. making sure everything's where it needs to be. And tell us how you have been got involved and how long you've been in it. Well, it comes back to my brother Dale. I moved back to Texas about 17 years ago yeah. and he gets, he, he would get so enlightened when you start talking about Delta Men, John 316, you know, I said, okay, I can find out what the heck is going on. Mm -hmm. Because for a month and a half before something would happen or something up here at John 316, where I just saw a change in him. I said, hmm. That's a good change. I want to be part of that. Right. So started getting more involved, more involved, and uh, I, I just enjoy it. 
I'm going to tell you what happened to me yesterday. Okay. I had a uh, graduate helping me fill propane bottles out back. He was doing real good and all. I was fixing to leave there. I said, look, I hate leaving you by yourself. I need to go up here and do something. Just like a two by four hit me in the middle of the head. You know what he said? I'm not alone. <laughs> when he said that, it's like a two by four hit me right between the eyes. All of a sudden, I'm not alone. I thought it was. You know, I thought all the way up to now, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm doing it. But I'm not alone. Okay. It just, just blew me away. That's right. That's oh, right. That's good. I just want to add to it that we, we come up here and one of my favorite parts about this is the, uh, uh, the testimonies from the men here. It's, uh, uh, you get to see God's mighty hand at work in, in these men's lives. And so many times we pass by people, and even in our church, we don't testify and tell people what God's doing in our lives. And these men up here are eager to share their testimony, and it's a blessing. And it's just a powerful, powerful witness for God. And we're just so blessed to be part of, of y'all. And like I say, we're coming up here... Um, to, uh, we say we're coming up here to help, but really and truly, we're, we're kind of cheating. We're coming up here to be blessed, and that's just y'all are a blessing to us. Get right. rejuvenated. <laughs> that's right. That's right. I was, I was thinking this morning, we, we all had breakfast together, all the instructors and all the Delta men there. There's about 15 of you here, right? I think so. And um, I, was, I was saying we were talking, and, and every time one group would say something that they were going to do for the other one, the other one would come back, well, if y'all do that, we're going to do this for y'all. It's very seldom do you find two organizations of men that are trying to outdo one another just by doing things for the other group, you know, and it's that just the world doesn't see that. That it doesn't happen every day, but with this, I got I got chill bones right now just thinking about it. Yeah. So uh, you know, it's just it's well if you help us with that, then we're gonna come back and help you with that. And it is that's how it should work. And that's how it's, it's people helping people. That's what Jesus called us to do, was serve. And that's how this ministry works, that's how Delta Men has become so successful. So we appreciate you guys. Is there anything else you want to add before we Thank God. Thank God. Amen. We thank you so much for coming to help us. We couldn't do it without you. We had a great success. We had a lot of people show up last night and Friday night. And these guys right here are all to thank for that. So, again, it's John 316, Delta Men's Association. Have a good day.